Hello, the internets. We both know why you are here, and that's to get two mics into one camera for under $10. Let's go. Wah! Wah! For those of you who don't have the money or don't need the quality of professional recorders like Zoom, Roland, Tascam, and all the others out there, how can you get two mics into one camera for cheap? As you already know, a lot of cameras out there, like the 5D Mark III, only have one audio input, which causes trouble, especially if you're doing an interview where you need two people mic'd up, but you don't have access to or can't afford professional audio recorders where you can put two inputs and then feed that into the camera. So this video is going to teach you how to do that very thing. In fact, I'm using two mics into the 5D Mark III right now. Here's how it's done. The answer, pick yourself up one of these, the Humble Headphone Splitter. I'm sure you could use any splitter, but I chose this particular one for a few reasons. Number one, it's from Kmart, so you have a 12 month replacement warranty. Number two, it works. Obviously. And number three, it's cheap. You can pick up a headphone splitter from eBay for under a dollar, but the main reason why I chose this particular headphone splitter is because you have individual volume controls on the splitter itself. And why would you need these? Well, that segues nicely into the pros and the cons. For the pros, the option for controlling the volume of each mic before it enters the camera. So normally to control the input volume of the mic, you can go either from the receiver of the microphone itself and then into the 5D Mark III. But having the splitter with the volume controls allows you to individually dial down or dial up the input volume of each mic without having to go to the talent and without having to fiddle with each receiver. This is a great fix for interviews, but if both people are talking at the same time and you want to get rid of someone's voice, you can't do that with this setup. But I think if you are going to use this method to put more than two mics into the 5D Mark III input, I would seriously suggest investing in a proper sound recorder. Because the main con for this method is each input from the mic is put into the same audio track on the 5D. In other words, if both people are talking, you can't mute one person in editing. What you hear is what you get. Now that is a pretty big con, but if this doesn't bother you, it's a great alternative for expensive audio recorders. As you can see, this goes straight into the camera. This here is the input from the Sennheiser microphone and the input from the Rode microphone. Currently, you are hearing my voice from both microphones. Let's take down the volume of the Rode microphone and you should still be able to hear me through the mic of the Sennheiser. So right now, what you're hearing is purely from the Sennheiser microphone, and I'm gonna keep talking as I increase the volume back up of the Rode microphone, so now it's both again. Let's do the same thing, but for the opposite mic. So this is the Sennheiser microphone, turning down the volume, so then all we will be left with is the Rode microphone. So right now, the audio you are hearing is purely from the Rode microphone. And then let's bring it back up again so we can hear both. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and share if you have any questions or comments or if I said something completely stupid that doesn't make any sense at all, let me know and I will apologize. Until next time. Wah!